Has anyone been wondering, like I have, why solid state batteries are still not in electric cars? Toyota said that they'd be in every Toyota EV by 2020. Then they changed to 2021. Then they said 2022. Now they're saying 2026 or maybe 2028. Uh, that's probably never going to happen. I don't think it is. Maybe. But I am curious to know, what exactly is the reason? What's and there's got to be something stopping true, real, not semi-solid state batteries like what we're seeing in China, but true, real solid state batteries. And it appears as though it's just been discovered. This is the problem. And this could be the key reason why solid state batteries have yet to take off. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. Really appreciate your support. It's been absolutely crucial and I'm really, really thankful for what you do. If you'd like to become a Patreon, I'll put a link in the description. Little ghosts. Scientists have exposed the hidden solid state battery killers that they say are causing the development problem. During charging, lithium filaments can grow, forming a wire contacting electrodes and this helps ion flow and directs all electrons internally, say experts working on solid state batteries. Now, I just made a video talking about how a gel electrolyte can actually solve the problems we're seeing with silicon anodes. Now, silicon being used in batteries, in particular in solid state, but also in non-solid state batteries, can massively increase energy density. I'm talking 400% potentially, say experts. But already 40%, they're saying right now, today, it can be done. But the problem is battery degradation. But if you use a gel electrolyte, that battery degradation doesn't happen. And it's really, I think, more probable that those batteries, that battery technology is going to be coming out. That's what Panasonic been working on for Tesla's batteries, right? They've been working on using silicon or more silicon in the anode in 2170, 4680 batteries potentially as well. Solar state battery, completely different kettle of fish. Researchers at the US Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory have answered, well, uncovered, crucial insights into early battery failure signs in solid state batteries, aiding in possibly designing superior electric vehicle batteries. So discovering these problems is part of the key to solving them. If we don't know what they are, then, well, we can't fix them. Focusing on solid state batteries with lithium metal anodes, which are seen to be the holy grail due to their high charge storage capability. I mean, you're looking at electric cars with more than a thousand miles of range using these kinds of batteries, but they're not commercially out yet. However, the team has addressed some of the problems, the critical conditions affecting these batteries. Lithium metal offers extended driving range, and I'm talking super high energy density compared to graphite anode lithium ion batteries, yet it has some hurdles due to its reactivity with liquid electrolytes. Electrolytes facilitate ion movement between electrodes. This is crucial for energy conversion. Without it, the batteries just don't work. The team claims a breakthrough has equipped the research community with essential knowledge and methodologies for enhancing EV solid state battery design and advancing sustainable transportation solutions. They say um, that their, their findings actually were just published uh, publicly, which is quite interesting. During discharge, ions migrate from the anode through the electrolyte to the cathode while electrons power external devices. Conversely, during charging, this process obviously reverses. However, lithium metal usage disrupts the cycle. It causes um, a, an array of problems, but one in particular that matters the most. Lithium filaments may extend from the anode during charging, penetrating the electrolyte. If these filaments connect the anode to the cathode, which they can possibly, they form an internal short circuit, preventing electron flow to devices and ion movement between electrodes, basically short circuiting the battery. Solid state batteries with lithium metal anodes could mitigate filament related challenges while preserving lithium's advantages. While developing a new solid electrolyte for EV batteries, the US government, the Argonne team, identified a very unusual behavior, brief voltage fluctuations. They wanted to work out why this was happening. They discovered the occurrence of short circuits or soft shorts characterized by small temporary short circuits. 
In the phenomenon, lithium filaments grow from the anode to the cathode, but on a smaller scale than in permanent short circuits, problems can, well, they can begin here. And according to the team, some electrons may still flow externally and ion movement between electrodes can persist. They said that they collaborated with Argon's computational experts and they created models to figure out what was going on. This predicted that ion and electron flows during soft shorts, considering factors like filament size and electrolyte properties. And basically they tried to work out why this was happening. Although batteries with tiny little short circuits can actually operate for extended periods of time, the filaments will gradually increase and these soft shorts become longer shorts ultimately leading to complete battery failure. Researchers highlighted that soft shorts mark the initial step toward irreversible battery malfunction. Soft shorts exhibit dynamic behavior, often forming, disappearing, and reforming within microseconds or even milliseconds, a crucial finding. With typical battery testing in the lab, researchers may only measure voltage every minute or so during that time you could have missed the formation and death of thousands of soft shorts. They're like little ghosts that are destroying your battery without you knowing it, said Michael Kunthan from the team. The primary cause of soft short disappearance is heat generated as electrons traverse lithium filaments, akin to household wire heating. According to the researchers, this heat can swiftly melt filaments, especially if the electrolyte is thermally insulating. Additionally, soft shorts may dissolve when filaments interact with specific electrolytes. Argon's solid electrolyte exploration involves materials capable of severing small filaments before they bridge to the cathode, averting internal short circuits. So they believe that they found the solution. And that's what it is. In their study on soft shorts, the team devised and showcased various methods for detecting and analyzing this phenomenon. These methods include quantifying soft shorts contribution to a battery's internal resistance and assessing battery health by isolating soft short effects from other resistance factors. The study lists nearly 20 detection and analysis techniques with a third stemming from recent research and others from unpublished community knowledge. Researchers note the lack of literature utilizing more than two of these techniques, underscoring the list's usefulness in providing researchers with multiple tools to comprehend soft short impacts due to their dynamic nature. Now, the team believes that as a result of their research, they can equip global researchers, in particular, of course, American research companies with insights into soft shorts, facilitating advancements such as designing robust, solid electrolytes to mitigate lithium filament growth. When researchers understand the dynamics of the soft shorts in batteries, they are better equipped to refine their materials to avoid these failure pathways. So basically, this is kind of like the American government. They're saying, you know what, we're doing this research. We want to equip our battery companies to beat China. That's very, very important to the American US government. They feel like they're way behind. A lot of experts say that America is 10 years behind China. They're concerned about this. So they're investing a lot of time and money into this kind of technology. And then they're basically giving it to companies, battery companies based in the United States, kind of helping them discover the next battery technology. I mean, obviously it's a Hail Mary year, but the Hail Mary is this. The US government hopes that they can have solid state battery companies in the US succeed. And if they can, they can potentially take massive market share. Now, some other experts are saying that Chinese companies also have solved these problems as well. No one really knows who is winning the race for solid state battery technology. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.